What is going on YouTube? I am here with Kieran Headley. We're doing a little collab chest and triceps. We're gonna be doing the chest workout on my channel and then the tricep workout on Kieran's channel. So what I'll do is at the end of this video, I'll put a little card up which will show the next video, the tricep part of this workout, and you can click on that, head over to Kieran's channel, give it a subs uh, subscribe to it, and then you can watch that video as well. So, let's get into this workout, eh? So we're starting the workout with a flat dumbbell chest press. Which I'm clearly going to be stronger than Jordan at. No. Uh, <laughs> Far from it. He is going to be. This guy can press like 40 kgs more than, more than me on the bench press. Like. <laughs> this is not true. on that five second isometric, so that five second hold. The reason why we do that is to basically increase time under tension. The more we're increasing time under tension, the more likely that is gonna translate into one whole rep next time. Plus concentric, so that's the power up, you'll fail in that before the eccentric. So if you failed and pushing up, and when you're at the top, you're like, there's no chance I'm going for another rep. You can make the most of that time and detention by coming down really slow or coming down and holding, all that type of stuff, right? And it also helps extend the total length of the set as well. So rather than just maybe hitting seven or eight, it's like Jordan said, being able to extend it that much more, and, and then therefore you're getting to more total time and detention as well. Boom. Exactly. Boom, a little bit of an education session there. Oh, love it, love a bit of education. That's what we're about. So in terms of reps and sets in this, Four sets, and then we're sticking, start with about 10 to get it going, and then we want to end with about five to six. So whatever your five to six RM is, pushing it, that's where you want to end up, yeah. one here, high pulley cable fly, bringing it straight down. When we get to the bottom, it's all about the mind-muscle connection. How hard can you squeeze your chest? Not even taking into account the weight and the resistance, okay? So when you get down to the bottom, almost like you've no weight whatsoever, squeeze and contract the chest as hard as you possibly can. I want you to try and angle your hands into a position where it looks like a V when you're looking at it towards you. That's going to help you contract just a little bit more, keeping the chin up so the traps don't come in as well. We're going for three sets, 15 reps. <laughs> Check that. Yeah, this is actually how you do it, guys. It's not bad. No, it is. It's pretty shit. <laughs> and a lot of people always ask me, how do you increase that mind muscle connection to the chest? A lot of it is just training experience and training years. The more you do it, the better you get. But also, another good one, practicing the titty dance. I can't even do it now, my chest is so screwed. Oh, 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 oh. Can't do it. Get me on another day and I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Alright guys, now we are on to a inclined Smith machine press that we're going to do for 3 sets, 12 reps. With something like this, it's all about control and squeeze. Because you haven't got the aspect of like a free bar or anything like that, stabilizing all that type of stuff. It's just all about getting the best angle to squeeze as hard as you possibly can. Come nice and slow down on the eccentric. I'm talking like 3 to 4 seconds. The eccentric's the way down. Little tiny pause at the bottom, power up. 
at the top, don't fully lock out your arm, just a slight bend so we can keep tension on the muscle, yeah? Just getting my amino energy. Oh, <laughs> Optimum nutrition. <laughs> he had to plug it. He had to plug oh, it. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to get proper gains, head up to Pro Subs. <laughs> Pro Subs, amino links. That's the way it goes. <laughs> You're a cheeky To clear up a common myth that generally happens with incline, decline, flat, all that type of stuff, flies. We don't do incline. I don't know what Kieran thinks about this comment, because everyone's got their own comment on this. We don't do incline to hit upper chest. It's not hitting any more upper chest than flat or anything like that. Yeah, we'll recruit a little bit more of the anterior delt, but upper chest, lower chest, it's impossible to kind of isolate those parts of the chest. Especially like pec major is one muscle. That's like saying that I'm training this part of my bicep. It doesn't work, you train the whole thing just like the chest. So the only way to develop the upper chest is increase the size of the entire chest by hitting it at all sorts of different angles to make it kind of confuse itself into growing even more. Because again, adaption, you hit it the same way every time, it adapts, it doesn't change. So I hit it at all sorts of different angles and that's when it starts to change. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. No, I agree. Like, um, agree? I, I honestly completely agree. I think that you can actually increase the amount of stimulus in that particular area of the muscle, but you can't isolate the muscle at all. Like, so for example, when you're doing an incline press, yes, you will actually notice that feeling of that, um, like the upper chest, right? The uh, pec minor um, increasing stimulus in that area, but overall, you're still working that pec major. So, like Jordan said, it's um, very dependent on whether or not you're actually working the entire chest as a whole or not um, and also to the extent that you're doing that and also the other thing as well it's very genetic as well how your chest develops so for example um, a lot of people might have a lot more slow twitch fibers in their um, upper chest and therefore um, therefore they've got greater um, ability to develop that um, kind of that muscle in that hypertrophy range right so yeah that's the other thing as well so genetics is a huge part so now, all right guys now we're gonna go on to a side machine press you can pretty much do this on any chest press machine that allows you to get into like a side position here, okay? So what I wanna make sure you do, setting yourself up can be quite crucial in this exercise. So you want your shoulder off the pad, but you want your lat to be on the pad. If you have your shoulder on the pad, you won't get any movement through. So you wanna be able to kind of get into that position there, and we wanna squeeze the chest as hard as we possibly can. Try and get that chest to touch your chin. That's when you know you're getting gains. Another thing to help that my muscle connection is actually getting in contact with the muscle. So if I'm pressing on the muscle here, that gives a real good reference point for the brain to squeeze that muscle. So when I'm powering up, I'm trying to find my fingers, I'm trying to squeeze through my fingers and then straight down. So it's a really good technique to just help with all that my muscle connection. And remember, if this is your first year or so of training, year, two years, it's not gonna be great. So just stick at it. The more you train, the longer you train, the better it'll get. Ooh, 12 reps each side, three sets. And if you ain't making facials like that, you ain't training hard enough. <laughs> yeah, no, you just can't not make a facial way. <laughs> so it's all about tensing up, tensing up. Watch for this arm, this is my good side. That's why I'm moving over here. <laughs> just the camera record. Huh? He does the go lighter. <laughs> Can you just cut that out? Like, <laughs> you got an arm shot of me. I, I think I should get an arm shot of you in as well, eh? I'll show it on top of
Sorry. Kira needs to go pee, so we gotta get this done fast. <laughs> what we are gonna finish with is press ups to failure. I thought we'd do it at the same time, just so there's that little bit of competition going on. This is just to really smoke off the chest, finish it off, make sure there is nothing left, and then you're gonna head over to Kieran's channel and then you're gonna watch the tricep portion of this workout. So this is it. Alright. Competition. <laughs> this is just demolition. Keep going. Okay. My sunrise on the darkest day got me feeling some kind of way. Make me wanna savor every moment slowly, slowly. You fit me, tell me love how you put it on. The only key know how to turn it on. The way you never lie, my ear. The only words I wanna hear. Baby, take it slow so we can last long. That's done. That's done. Triceps. 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 Well, he's gonna go pee and then we go triceps. Thank you. <laughs> we go. Give him a little break. So if you guys need to go pee, now is the time. <laughs> Alright guys. Ooh. Look at that chest pump. And that's why angry. I get this part of the angle. Oh look at that! Look at that! Oh. There's no angles involved. <laughs> chest up. Rest the bottle. Rest the bottle. No. <laughs> A little bit of Callum. What's his last name? Callum Von Logan, mate. That one. Inspiring to his chest. All right, but that is the chest workout over. Now we're going to head into triceps. So you're going to follow the link that'll be on the screen, like here. And then you're going to head over to Kieran's channel, subscribe to his channel, and then watch the tricep part of this workout that Kieran's going to lead. So I will see you guys soon. Yo. Thanks for watching, guys.